Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mindy. I'm a homeschooling mom to four. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about my curriculum hits and misses for eighth grade. So if you watched my eighth grade curriculum picks video at the beginning of the year, this one right here, you'll notice that if you watched a couple of our days in the lives that we switched things up a little bit. Some things worked very well for my son and some things really did not work out and we had to make a couple switches. So let's first start with math. Math was definitely the biggest change that we made this year for eighth grade. We originally started out with trying to do algebra one by Matthew C. It was not working out. We had used Matthew C for every other grade level since we began officially homeschooling in fifth grade. So we used it all throughout those years and it worked wonderfully for him. So if you watched my math video before on why we had to switch, I'll link that up in the cards. There's just a whole host of reasons. It just wasn't working out for my son anymore and it was time to make a switch. Then I tried using this right here and also did not work out for him. I think we did the first three chapters in it and it just wasn't meeting his needs. And again, I addressed that in my math video. I did end up finding Denison Algebra and this has been a lifesaver. I love this program because my son loves this program and it works for him. Mr. Denison is teaching the lessons. So in a sense, we're like outsourcing because I'm not doing any of the teaching and he has been very successful so far in this program. And I do plan to do a full review on this program, but so this pre-algebra has 15 chapters, the last one ending with probability and statistics. And so right now we are nearing the end of our school year, but because we started this late, we're gonna be moving at a faster pace. So we will finish it by the end of his eighth grade year so that we can start ninth grade with algebra one. But anyway, we are currently, um, he just took his chapter 10 test today and I haven't um, graded this. So he literally just started or will start chapter 11. But as of right now, my son is maintaining a 98% average in the course and I'm not doing anything. Mr. Dennison is doing the teaching. So we love Dennison algebra. We plan to stick with it for ninth grade. Moving into English language arts, we had a lot of pieces in the mix here. And so we used Mazdos Press Literature. So this was a literature anthology, and then it came with a workbook. And so in the workbook, there was always a very specific skill that my son was working on along with vocabulary. So we did not do this whole entire book. We have used Mazdos Press a lot in the past. I actually think we used it for almost every single grade level from fifth grade up through eighth grade, but we never finish an entire textbook. And that's because I also choose novels for him and I to read together. And then I find um, just resources from like teachers pay teachers to cover comprehension skills and vocabulary and things like that. Writing this year was a little bit challenging. It didn't really, I guess I don't wanna say challenging, but it didn't really pan out the way that I thought it was going to. So originally I had got this for him, write your own scripts. And this was going to be more of like a creative writing sort of an outlet and he really struggled with this. And so I don't know, he, boys don't really love to write. So we really didn't get far in this. I thought this was gonna be awesome and fun and engaging for him and it just, it wasn't. So what I ended up doing was going back to this. We had already worked through this book once before, but the thing is it just teaches you how to write a compare and contrast essay, how to write an opinion essay, and it gives you like two or three different ways to write that specific essay. So I basically just said, okay, write an opinion essay on blah, 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 whatever you think. Write a compare and contrast essay on these two stories that we read. Write um, a research paper on, he actually did a research paper that correlated with his 4-H project this year. So that worked out really nicely. But so we just went back to this and I'm considering the next one up for the high school level. It's called The Power in Your Hands, um, also by the same company uh, for high school, but I'm not positive yet. I guess you'll have to wait and watch and see my curriculum picks for ninth grade. Still haven't made up my mind yet, but 
this ended up working out for us anyway, so I was glad that I had that on my bookshelf still. Still thinking about English language arts, I did grab this um, Grammar for the Well-Trained Mind. If you watch my video, I was very apprehensive about this program, and we did get um, a couple chapters in, but the thing is, you can use this the co over the course of four years. The book is huge, and so um, let's see here. Oh... There are so many different lessons. I mean, we didn't even get like a quarter of the way through this. It's just kind of, and I didn't do this like consistently. I would say we did it a lot in the beginning of the year for our quarters one and two, and then three, um, we really didn't do any grammar. <laughs> Quarter four, what we're doing right now, we're finishing up our school year. We'll get back into this a little bit only because my son needs to take the cat test for New York State. So we're going to be working on grammar things because the cat test covers grammar. Plus it's just good to know proper grammar anyway. So we are going to be working in this a little bit more and I do plan to use this during the high school years also when we're starting ninth grade next year. So this worked out very well for us. Moving into science and health. Again, if you watched my eighth grade curriculum picks video, you'll realize that we had way too much science planned for one year. So one of the big things that I decided to do was move physical science to ninth grade. And so I saved this and decided not to do it because we were gonna be cramming so much science into one year, it was just like impossible. And this year for eighth grade, we also needed to get a government credit in for New York State before we moved on to the high school years. So I didn't wanna to try to jam pack this in. So instead I moved it to our ninth grade year. We did complete this geology study from The Good and the Beautiful, and we dove a little bit deeper using a couple other resources and books and things like that and documentaries specifically related to geology. So this was a big um, component of our science this year. And then we also watched these general science 101 videos, and there was just a wide variety of topics that you can see here. And so this was just another form of visual form rather than having to do more worksheets and things like that. And yes, we did do some worksheets, but this was just a nice little break from like a textbook. And then also every month, my son was getting these Crunch Labs subscription boxes by Mark Rober, um, YouTuber, at, uh, he used to work for NASA, created these monthly subscription boxes. My son is a very mathematically minded and engineering based child. And so he has loved these subscription boxes here. They're called Crunch Labs. So if your child is interested in something like that, I highly encourage you to check it out. Not affiliated in any way. We just really enjoy Mark Rober and what he's created for kids. Lastly, for science, we have um, this safety unit here and we just started this in our quarter four. We will definitely wrap this up and finish this by the end of our school year. And so there are 14 lessons in here also. And I'm also doing this with my younger two kiddos, my five-year-old and seven-year-old. So we're doing this as a family style learning experience. Lastly, we're gonna talk about history and government. And this went very well for us also. So we used part two of From Adam to Us by Not Grass History. And we absolutely adore Not Grass History. It is our favorite history program. I have looked into a number of other programs and they just would not work best for our family. This is what has always worked best for us because we really enjoy Not Grass History. We are going to be using that again for ninth grade. Next year, we are going to be doing American history. So my son has just a few lessons left in um, world history from Adam to us. And then that wraps up our school year. And so he has really loved this program. He did end up reading a couple of the novels that went along with this, because like I said, we didn't do that entire Mazdos Press literature book. So we also took a break from that once in a while and read novels that were suggested by Not Grass History. Government, we did The Good and the Beautiful's <laughs> government course. And guys, this is intense. And I could do an entire video on this program. It's not that it's bad, and I don't say that in a negative sort of way. It's just very intense. Like it says fourth through eighth grade, I think on here. Oh yeah, grades four through eight, and I cannot even imagine 
doing this in fourth grade, but it has been well. It's just that it's another history course, essentially. Um, so you can see we have not really gotten very far. And here, my goal is to have this finished by um, the end of our school year this year, which we will. Um, so here's where we're at. We have all those other lessons to do. We did finish lesson 17 today. Um, but yeah, this is all about the U.S. Constitution, the founding of America, but it also talks about um, presidents and a lot of biographies and things like that. So there's a biography about James Madison. There's a biography about, um, oh, who else? <laughs> Just lots of biographies. But then also there's like mini books about like the White House and then there's one for the Capitol building. So there's lots of other pieces. Like you can definitely cho pick and choose what you want to do from this course. We're doing pretty much everything. Um, so that's why it's taking us a little bit longer, but it, we have enjoyed this program. It's just taking us longer than I anticipated that it would, but we had a huge course load. So along with this course, it did come with this book here, Mystery on Constitution Island. So we have also been using this as part of our English language arts program. Overall, I think we had a fantastic eighth grade year. I am really looking forward to the high school years to ninth grade. I am still finalizing our curriculum choices for ninth grade. I do have some coming in the mail, but it has been a slower process for me this year than it has in years past, just because I feel like this is kind of like the final go, right? Like these are important years. Um, and so I just want to make sure that we're going to start with a curriculum and then not have to um, take the time to switch to something else. So I really want to make sure that what I'm picking and choosing for him and what he's also helping me choose is going to be best for his learning style. And just overall, because I'm going to be teaching three grades all together, that it's going to work best for our family situation and dynamics. So that's why it's taken me a little bit longer. So if you're interested in those videos, I hope you hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time.